Hi everybody, um, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers, I never thought that I'd get there. I honestly made this channel just, you know, to prove to people that I really made this dress by posting to progress and I never expected this response, so thank you guys so much. Now, on to something important. Um, some of you in the comments may have know this, may know this already. Uh, I had some problems with my files. The third log of Elemental was a bit delayed, and by a bit I mean about a year, because um, my computer started corrupting the files and I couldn't get them off the computer, but my computer wouldn't work with me as well, so I couldn't reach them. And I finally, finally recovered some of them, though all of the, all of the files from the red dress are absolutely gone. I can't find them anymore, but uh, a few of the blue dress survived, so I compiled those into a new video for you guys, and it's here for you to enjoy. Uh, so thank you all for waiting, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. But before I let you get get onto it, I have uh, a question for you guys, because um, I was thinking of starting an Etsy shop, and I already uh, plan to put some flower crowns and some elven circlets and maybe some capes and cloaks into the Etsy shop but I was wondering if you guys had anything that you'd like me to put in there maybe um, the crinoline or some fairy elven costumes if you have any ideas please let me know so I can um, sort of customise my shop for you guys because you are <laughs> the people who have supported me with comments and stuff and have really shown interest in my work so I'd like to make you guys happy so without further ado please enjoy the video and uh, Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and uh, thank you all for waiting. What I'm doing here is I'm basically um, draping my ruffled fabric over my petticoat just to establish an order of which fabric goes where in the, the outer skirt. Now, I'll tell you right now that I made a huge mistake here. I forgot to do the math. And the math is very important because if you do the math with pi and all that sort of stuff, you discover that with 10 meters of fabric, you have to ruffle it down to uh, about your waist circumference, about, I think it's 80 centimeters or something, if you want it to be a full circle skirt. And I didn't do that. I just, you know, sort of, like you see here, I did it round and round and had about like, one or two meters of a uh, ruffled edge and that means that your skirt does not flare out fully it just leaves this yeah it, it basically sort of leaves too little fabric at the bottom so it doesn't really twirl beautifully and I did eventually do the good ruffling with the top layers but I didn't do it with the bottom which had led to me just having to cut it off and it was such a waste so if you're gonna do this Make sure you do the math. Don't forget. I had to ruffle some of my fabrics four to five times to get the desired length of the ruffled edge. And that gives you an incredible bulk uh, when it comes to the edge. So I recommend that you cut off the edge after you've stitched it. As I'm doing here, I just stitched it to my waistband and then I cut off the excess as close to the stitching line as possible. Now my waistband is basically a piece of elastic with some fabric sewed on and onto the fabric I sew the lines of ruffles so that um, it's, it's very snug around your middle because I didn't want to make a full dress I wanted to make um, a, a corset and a skirt because it's so much easier to put on and off now here is my skirt and as you can see the top two layers the organza and the final layer of tulle are the best because those are the flowiest and the, the nicest looking with the ruffles now here I am making the corset I'm just uh, putting my uh, pattern pieces onto my fabrics and um, 
I made the pattern myself uh, from my uh, Mater size mannequin, so that was a lot easier and saved me a lot of time. And if you can't do that, I recommend it because it's just more form fitting. And here I am sewing some channels for the steel boning into uh, the corset pieces. As you can see, it really holds the shape quite well, and uh, the lines are exactly where I want them to be to be figure flattering. that I've just made is the inner layer. I have an, uh, an outer layer which is a shiny blue fabric to make sure that everything looks really good. This is the outer layer and as you can see it's shiny, it does not hold its shape well so it definitely needs an inner layer and in the end uh, some of the stitch is ripped a bit because the fabric is so sensitive, so delicate, so but it does really but as it does fit really well with the colours of my dress. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see these flower crowns along with some others that I made, then please do visit my Etsy shop. And I'm selling these and some other things and maybe things that you guys leave in the comments for me to make. Uh, so please check it out when it opens and have a nice day. Bye.